Hi guys and welcome back. The first thing I'd like to say is the title of this video is completely true. Yes, I do think about dying just about every day. And I know that's a sad thing to say and I never want my channel to be about sad things, but I thought it wouldn't be honest for me to not at least acknowledge that I do feel this way and that a lot of transgender people feel this way. I do suffer from clinical depression and that manifests itself every day in thoughts of dying. Transition and being transgender can be a very isolating path to follow. Society still doesn't see us very favorably. Sometimes we're rejected by our family and friends and I'm no different. I know that coming out cost me my marriage. It cost me being a full-time parent to my son. And these are things that I may never recover and these are the things that make me quite sad. I've been single for three and a half years and when I mean single, I mean very, very single. <laughs> <laughs> but I get up with hope every day that it's gonna be a little better and that's one of the things that keeps me here Lots of things keep me here actually. I mean you guys keep me here when I say you guys I mean more than just my YouTube channel though. You guys are a huge part of it I also mean people who read my articles and people I've helped personally just last night I was talking to a trans guy who told me that I'd saved his life and that's an amazing thing to hear It makes me feel incredibly good I know that I made a difference in a lot of people's lives and sometimes the person's life that I need to make the biggest difference in is my own. So I hold on each day and I try to make myself feel better. I watch movies, I read, I talk to friends. As some of you may know, I'm a professional singer and music is a huge part of my well-being. I've noticed that when I sing, I feel better about everything. And every once in a while when I'm feeling particularly down, I've noticed that it's probably because I haven't sung in quite a long time. So one of the things I try to do is keep music in my life every day. It is therapy, quite literally to me. I mean, I do have a therapist and I go to therapy quite often. And that is also a huge part of my well-being and my recovery. I do take medication. So with that being said, I thought maybe I'd sing for you guys a little bit. I've done it once before. It wasn't terribly well received. <laughs> Now, it is kind of a sad song. It's actually a very, very popular song that you may have heard in clubs and not really listened to the lyrics before. But I know that for me, sometimes singing sad songs is a way for me to creatively express it without being negative and destructive. Here's my guitar. It's quite a pretty little thing. It was actually given to me by a friend of mine once when I was actually in crisis. She noticed that I love to sing and that I was really good at it. So she bought me this guitar to basically guilt me into performing one day and it promptly collected dust in a corner of my room for probably about a year. <laughs> but it was always there and I never got rid of it and I always knew that one day I would pick it up and I'd start playing it. Thank you very much to that friend of mine for helping me when I needed it most and for seeing more in me than I saw in myself at the time. Without further ado, here I am performing for you guys. I hope you enjoy it. I took a pill in a beat to show a beach and I was cool and when I finally got sober felt 10 years
colored lawns and the people still think I'm a star. I walked around downtown. I met some friends on Lafayette. They said, tell us how to make it cause we're getting real impatient. So I looked them in the eye and said, you don't want to be high like me. Never really knowing why like me. You don't ever want to step off that roller coaster and be all alone. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. That was I Took a Pill in Ibiza by Mike Posner, which has gotten a lot of airplay as, like I said, a, a dance mix, but I actually like the original acoustic version a lot better. So please comment on this video if you like my singing, and I promise never to do it again if you didn't like it. <laughs> like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you around interwebs.